Are you uh, waiting for someone? No. Sorry, I was... Sorry. No worries. Uh, take your time. When the sun's too hot and my old man's not, well, I stumble outside the door. And I'm asking myself if I haven't been through all this too darn many times before. I gave up singing my half done songs when the money ran out before the time. And I gave up love in my one-sided loves But I couldn't believe in their lies I used to think it was easy, honey I used to think it was all right I used to think it was simple enough Till scratching my way became my way of life I used to think it was the thing that really spoke to me was the idea of emotional freedom, like leaving yourself, being free, because most people aren't in institutions, obviously, but we're all locked up in some way. We are. So aren't we? When school Murphy... is an institution. It's not an institution, <laughs> but it's still a place that we have to go every day, and it can feel like you're stuck, like you're not allowed to be yourself all of the time, right? What are some other places that can feel like that? I'm sorry, Miss Stevens? Yes, my God. Can we get back to the ending? Sure. Yes, the ending. You were saying that when McMurphy has What'd to... What did you say? Excuse me? What did you think of the ending? Nice try, man. Calm down, I read it. Guys. Oh, oh, really? Really? Just like you read The Great Gatsby? Guys. I mean, why, why don't you just watch the movie? Really, it's not. Actually, right watching anymore. movies aren't really a safe way to cheat. You You're just because someone doesn't talk every time they feel like talking doesn't mean they didn't read the book. Guys! Done? Let's get back to the book. What did you think? Of the ending? Mm hmm. I love it. This is what I want to do. So I checked through the front office and they have the petty cash all ready to go and I double checked and all our permission slips are in. So we're all set for the drama competition. Thank you. You're welcome. And we're leaving after third period, yes. That's the plan. And thank you for taking us. I had to ask three other teachers before you volunteered to come. Billy? Hi, Margo. Hi, Billy. Billy, when are we doing the Gatsby makeup? Shit. Margo? Oh, right. Uh, see you both at 12. Mm -hmm. First of all, no cursing. Sorry. Second of all, did you finish the book? Yes, I did. Well, it's been two weeks. I don't want to fail you. What's going on? I'm just having trouble caring about a lot of things right now. Are you talking to anyone? Hmm. Anyone. Are you? Just because people are the people you're supposed to talk to doesn't mean you can talk to them. So just a few things before you go. 
I'm sure your kids are all caught up in their classwork, yes? Uh, why? Well, they can't go on the trip if they're missing assignments, school policy. I already spoke to the other teachers, and so I'm just oh, checking. Oh, yes, no, of course. Yeah, of course. Okay, good, good. <clears throat> Our main concern is uh, William Mittman. Billy? Yeah, Billy. I, I don't know if you're aware of his issues, but... Um, we wouldn't be letting him go unless he was 100%, but legal just wants to make sure that I discuss this with you, uh, just to keep your eyes open. What he has is a behavioral disorder, and he will be taking his medication with him on the trip. He is allowed to uh, administer the medication himself. Between you and me, um, I think there's just some tension at home, so they just want to show him a little trust by letting him go on this trip. But you have my number, so if you need me, call. the test. Sorry. Taking it this weekend. No excuses. Oh, uh, what test? Take care of yourself, Margo. Oh, the Gatsby test? Why did Billy do Margo. Sorry. Okay. We ready? Nothing, it wouldn't be on. It's it's a really old car, it kind of just does things sometimes. It just does things sometimes? I... Do you want us to stop and deal with it even though we're already running late? Well, on behalf of all of us, I would just like to say how grateful we are that you're taking us to the competition. I mean, since the school cut our arts programs, it's important to get exposure wherever we can. Yeah, seriously. Don't you think it's interesting, Miss Stevens, that we spend almost every day together and we, just, we talk about so many different things, but we don't really know each other. I mean, not really. I want to talk to you about life. It's just too difficult to be alive, isn't it? And to try to function, there are all these people to deal with. Like, I was at the supermarket trying to buy a can of tuna fish, and there was someone standing right in front of where I wanted to reach out and grab the tuna fish. And I waited a while to see if they'd move, but they didn't. They were looking at the tuna fish too, but they were taking a real long time at it, reading each ingredient like they were a book. <laughs> Shit. Oh, shit. Sorry. No, seriously, Sorry. what was that? I think it was the tire. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. God. Sorry, shit. Oh, Sorry. my God. Sorry. Sam. Sam, your monologue was really good so far. I'm sorry. It's Christopher Durang, right? I don't think you know who Christopher is. Guys, we are sitting on the side of the road. Right. 
It was the warning light, wasn't it? It wasn't the warning no, light, Margo. The oh, warning Jesus, you light. Guys, please, please, guys, please, please, come on, stop. You were driving other people's children in an unfit automobile. Oh, I know, my. I'm sorry. I'm really embarrassed. Why are you embarrassed? Because I am the asshole who ignores a big flashing orange light. You curse a lot. I know. But when we're at school, you it's a switch. Why isn't the switch on now? I, because we're, we're, we're not at school. But like, we are. Right. Okay. We are gonna be so late. I have to call the hotel. I'm gonna call the hotel. Hi, this is Marco Jensen from Franklin High School. Is this the front desk? Why do I? Where it says signature. Oh. <laughs> Make sure you get that to your service station as soon as possible. You can't. Drive too long in the spare. Right. Okay. Will do. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I tried to make it Sunday. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. I'll change that no. station. Love this song. How do you know that song? Ah, uh, my dad. Exactly. This is dad music. Yep. And old lady teacher music. You are not old. Oh. I am old. You like America? Well. America? It's the band. This band. America. It's just called America? Yep. Like that's it. That's it. I don't know, Margo. I kind of like what it's doing to me. Do you mind if I ask how old you are? Sam thinks you're 26, but I think you're older. Not because you look older, you just seem older. Am I older? 29. Ugh. Anyway. Best part. Will you meet me in the middle? Will you meet me in the air? Will you love me just a little? Just enough to show you care. Well, I tried to fake it. I don't mind saying I just can't make it. I'm gonna go check us in. Another glass? Oh, um... Sure, thank you. Another vena for the lady coming right up. So, what was your favorite part? Oh gosh, um, we did the glass menagerie. I love that play. And who are you? I was Tom. I ended up playing boys a lot. Why? I don't know. I I, uh, I was tall. I don't I don't really have hips. And... Here you go. Thank you. Pinot Noir. Such a good choice. 
totally. <laughs> it is. So are we excited to see who's going to be there tonight? Yeah. It'll be interesting to see. Oh, man, there was this, there was this one time. What? Gosh, I haven't thought about this in years. We were doing uh, Taming of the Shrew, and I played Petruchio. And in the last scene, mm -hmm. on the last night... Petruchio is the, the main... Right, main sorry. The, um, Petruchio is this guy who's in love with this girl, Kate. And in the last scene, the girl playing Kate, this girl, Jillian, she kisses me. We, we had been doing it with this, with this stupid hug because it was that kind of school. And so I go in for the stupid hug and, and, and she just turns her head and and kisses me. Like, really kisses me. <laughs> and I remember thinking, why, why didn't we do this in the first place? These two people are in love. And then it hit me that my, my teachers, my mother, my, my grandmother, and, um, and the boy I liked, Thomas O'Toole, are all out there watching me make out with Jillian Cook. Oh my God, that's crazy. Well, what happened? We had to go to the principal's office. But didn't you tell him it was her fault? No. Why not? I don't know. It, it, didn't, it didn't feel like it was her fault. I totally get it. And if we, one of us had actually been a boy, we, were, we wouldn't have gotten into trouble at all. They wouldn't have cared. They would have clapped and thought you were dating. I never did another play. Still good on the wine? You trying to get me drunk? <laughs> no. Yeah, no, I'm good, thank you. No oh, more for can you, can you just... Margo. Well, we should get going or we're gonna be late. Again. Most of you will be eliminated and it will be difficult. So much of acting is about the struggle. But some of you, the truly talented few will earn the right to stand on this stage and be heard by all and an even smaller group will experience the exhilaration of the win. On Sunday afternoon, three winners will be chosen by our esteemed panel of judges. Give them a round of applause. He's a big theater guy, director. He also directs his teen soap. Every year we begin with a group affirmation. A moment for all of us to come together before we judges rip you apart. <laughs> Quick, close your eyes. Feel everyone breathing with you. Breathing as one. Inhale. One, two, three, four, and out. Four, three, two, and one. Walter. Uh, Rachel. Uh, 
What do you teach? Hmm? What, what is it that you teach? <laughs> uh, I'm an English, I teach, I'm an English teacher, I, I teach English. You're really bad at small talk. <laughs> so, so bad. I'm so used to talking at people that I just, I forget how to, you know, the, the, the grown-ups. Just so tired at the end of the day. Yeah, I think I would forget too if it weren't for my wife. <laughs> now you're not using words. Wife, he brought, he, wife, you said wife, you dropped the wife bomb. Did you think that you were gonna meet a nice single guy at this thing? Well, I don't really see anybody else that I wanna talk to. crush on my high school English teacher. No. So hot. No, there's just, there is no way that every high school English teacher was hot. Maybe, maybe one of those teachers actually was really hot. The rest, the rest were just okay or, or not even at all. I get it. I get it. Think about it. You have this woman, this real woman, and she's telling you what to do, right? And she's inspiring you and exciting you. And think about these guys. All they have on the weekends are these little baby girls to talk to. But you're a woman. <laughs> <laughs> You're a goddamn woman. And you're standing up there in front of all of their pimples and all of their boners. And you're talking about sex. I mean, you're talking similes and metaphors, but really. Really, it's just sex. Those are really nice. Thanks. Yeah, they're just so young. No, seriously, what?
Is everything okay? Yeah. What do you believe? What do you... What do you... I, just, I forgot my key inside. Wow. Doesn't, doesn't Sam have one? He's still downstairs. Oh. Kind of met someone. Uh, you know, you can get one from the front desk. Oh, my God. Duh. <laughs> Okay, good night. Pride and Prejudice. So loud, fine. Wake up, wake up. Hello, good good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Just smile like a normal person. Good morning. Good good morning. Pride and Prejudice. Okay, did you read it? Did anybody read it? Am I just talking to people who haven't read the book? Because you're still, has anyone read the book? Let's, let's start with, pride. let's start with prejudice. Let's start with prejudice. Let's start with pride. Pride, pride, we've all felt pride and, and good night and you're all asleep. Maybe Stevens. I, I'm just going to get a, a tire. Did you get my note? I left notes under your door. Can I come? Um, where are Margo and Sam? Rehearsal. Don't you need to be in there? This afternoon. They uh, wanted more time. Just nervous, I guess. You're not nervous? I, I mean, I get nervous sometimes. <laughs> when? Standing on a stage and having fun. Okay. So, can I come? You don't even listen to other stations. I love this one. Why? I listened to it growing up. You grew up here? In California? Yeah. Are your mom and dad still here? What is this, 20 questions? Sorry. Margot's convinced you're a lesbian. Excuse me? I'm sorry, that was inappropriate. But you're, you're not. Right. That is also inappropriate. Sorry. <laughs> it's gonna be a while. They got a couple jobs in front of you. How long? About an hour. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, right? I'm hungry. You're the one who wanted to come. Yeah, there's a diner about a mile away. You guys can cut through around back. No, that's okay. Best burgers well, in town. So what made Margot think that That I story was... you told? About the girl kissing you? She just got into her head that... Because you didn't rat the other girl out, you must be a lesbian. <laughs> I 
I told her that's not what you meant. Yeah. What did I mean? Is that a teacher question? No. No, you think you know what I meant? Tell me. <laughs> Tell me. Tell me. Yeah, yeah, I... You felt like she was doing the right thing. Kissing you. anything wrong with that. Sam's gay. I know. He came out to me last year. It's pretty cool. That is cool. He has a lot of friends. <laughs> He's easy to be around. I don't really have a lot of friends. I don't either. You don't? Mm -mm. Hmm. I'm tough. Me too. Uh, How are we talking about this? I don't know. They don't kick you out of the competition. What is he talking about? Rehearsals? He missed rehearsals. No, no, he, he said you didn't have to be there till the after. Really? I better go. Where were you? I, I, left, a, I left a note under your door. I talked to the front desk. I didn't get it. I'm sorry. Do you really think they'll kick him out? They take things pretty seriously. I'm fine. Of course you are. All right. Welcome to round one. It's a big day today. Today we learn what's you, what's me, and what's us. Okay. First up is the group from Franklin High School. Uh, let's start with Margaret Jensen. Hi, I'm Margot Jensen from Franklin High School, and today I will be performing one of Blanche Dubois' monologues from Tennessee Williams' A Streetcar Named Desire. When I was 16, I made the discovery. Love. All at once and much, much too completely. But I was unlucky. We're safe. Next up, we have William Mittman.
Margo? I'm not here. I know. Can I talk to you anyway? I guess so. I just want you to know that it's totally okay to be upset. That was humiliating. It was, wasn't it? Are you supposed to say that? Would you rather I lie? I guess not. It was humiliating. And it sucks that you worked so hard and forgot. But you know what else? It's gonna be okay. Not today, maybe, or or even tomorrow, but there will be a day when this is okay. The worst part is that I knew I was gonna be terrible. And then why'd you do it? I don't know. I thought maybe I wasn't as bad as I thought or something would click today, but I am just not a good actress. Well, what are you good at? <sighs> School and organizing things. That's true. You organized all of this. And I got Billy to come. Well, that's great. He's so talented. It would be really good for the school if he won. What do you mean? Well, I think maybe if he wins, the school might give some money back to the arts program and we could do a real play again. And the school wouldn't even pay for this trip. This is our last chance. What do you mean the school wouldn't pay? Um, Sam and Billy don't know this, but my parents paid for this trip. Well, I didn't even know. Will you just please don't tell them? Of course not. Maybe that's one of your gifts, Marco. And if you're right, you will be responsible for bringing the arts back to our school. Are your jeans touching the toilet seat? Yeah. Gross. I'm not gay. Oh, I can't believe he told you that. I'm really sorry I missed your monologues today, but I'm really proud of you guys for moving on. Thanks, Marco. Yeah, thanks. I can't wait to see them tomorrow. And speaking of which, I am so nervous. Aren't you? You get nervous sometimes, remember? Oh, right, yeah, sometimes. Hey, your food should be out in a minute. Sorry for the wait. Another one? Yes? Oh, uh, uh, no. <laughs> no, thank you. Um, can I get another Diet Coke? Coming right up. You should totally give him your number. Excuse me? Well, he's been flirting with you. Oh, no, no, he, ha he has not been. And even if he has been, that's that's not a reason to give your telephone number to a stranger. Unless he's cute. No, that is that is not a reason. Do you have a boyfriend? Why are why are you asking me? So that? that's a no? Marco. What? Seriously? Leave Rachel alone. Rachel? Wow. What? Why why did you call me that? Feels weird to call you Miss Stevens. Well, it, it shouldn't. It shouldn't feel weird. We've been spending so much time together. As Miss Stevens. Phones. What? Phones. On the table. People don't like it when you're having more than one conversation. Sorry. See you guys later.
Where are your kids? They're in their rooms. Well, I guess I know what kind of teacher you are now, don't I? <laughs> hey, look. Um, Last night was, um, you know, I'm married, so. So now you're married. I'm sorry. I mean, you knew I was married. Right, but now it matters. Look, um, the thing is, uh, all I really want is to finish my mini Jack Daniels and maybe this $14 movie. And then tomorrow I'm gonna go home and get in bed with my wife. Hang on. Just a sec, sorry. <clears throat> hey. I'm sorry, Miss Stevens. It's been only a couple of days. Are you okay? What? I don't know. You. No, I'm. I don't know. No. You I... seem like you're not okay. I'm fine. I brought you something. Because you missed dinner. Thought you might be Thank you. hungry, you know. You should go back to your room. Okay. Okay. <sighs> what? I what? My 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 hand, Miss Stevens. I I I. Billy. I can't. I feel an urge to knock on people's doors. Billy. No, Billy. 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 Go back to your room. People are trying to sleep, Billy. You're right, we shouldn't be in the hallway. Billy. We should probably go inside. Billy, no, no, no. Uh, Billy. What are you doing? Why are you doing this, Billy? You love asking me that question. Excuse me? I'm just jumping on the bed. Don't be sad. Don't be sad. Don't be sad. I'm not. Don't be sad. I'm not, Billy. I'm Don't not. Be sad. Don't be sad. I'm not. Don't be sad. I'm not.
Call that guy. Here, take my sweatshirt. No. What? No. So, do you have a boyfriend, or? <laughs> no. I don't have a boyfriend. You ever had your heart broken? I thought I was going to tell you a story about some horrible guy who's ruined men for me forever. When? A year ago. Tell me about her. Tell you about her? How can I? Um, how can I tell you about her? I don't know. You just pick somewhere and start and keep going. You want to hear about my mom? Mm hmm Okay. She, uh, she drove a blue Volvo station wagon. And she always listen to the oldies. Um, she was an actress. She did this, this big movie when she was younger and then, and then she had me. And it was just the, just the two of us. And the acting wasn't wasn't enough for two, so she had to get a real job. Um, and then when I got old enough, she she started doing plays after work, and and I would go I would go watch them. And there was this, um, this one play that she did. I completely forgot that I was watching my mother. I was just, I was just watching this, this woman and all the other people on stage were, you know, they were men and they were, they were all terrible. <laughs> and she was just holding them all together, holding them, holding them up. And then this, um, 
one of the guys had this line that makes her that makes her character laugh and and then there she was You have to go. You have to... You have to go. What are you talking about? You have to go. Uh, Billy, you have to go. What are you talking about? It's time to go. It's time for you to go. What? Come on, you have to go. Billy. What? What? I need you to go. Come on. Come on. Why? Billy, Why? please. Please, Billy. Go, I need you to go to your room. Go to your room. Come Why? on. Come on. Why are you making me go? Billy. Uh, yeah? I don't know where Bill. Hi, Sam. Why are you here? So I locked myself out of the room again. I couldn't find you, and uh, I was too embarrassed to go downstairs and ask for a new key again. So the Stevens just helped me out. But no, I was just on my way back. What's up? Can I come in? The boy, Matt. The one I've been texting. <sighs> well, he texted that he wanted to hang out tonight. But when Margo and I found him in the parking lot, what, 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 what were you doing in the parking lot? Like we hadn't even talked. Sorry, Miss Stevens. Miss Stevens? <sighs> oh, hi, Billy. Miss Stevens? I I'm in here. Why did you <clears throat> leave? John sucks. What? What? What are you? What are you all doing out of, out of your rooms? Can I? Uh. Yes. I didn't say anything because I knew you were into it, but um. I kind of had a feeling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. John is an asshole. Sorry. And this is a theater competition, so I didn't think that I'd have to deal with this shit. Sorry. I, I thought, I mean, I guess, I guess I thought that I could meet someone. You know? Sorry. I didn't say this. Most people suck, Sam. They do. Some of them are wonderful, but mostly they're not. And the weirdest part is, it is surprising every single time. But I am here for you. Me too. We are all here.
If you're gonna hear the truth, what you are and what I am. We never told the truth for 10 minutes in this house. Well, hear this, Willie. This is me. You wanna know why I had no address for three months? It's because I stole a suit in Kansas City and I was in jail. I stole myself out of every good job since high school and I never got anywhere because you blew me so full of hot air. I can never stand taking orders from anybody. That's whose fault it is. It's goddamn time you heard that, Pop. <laughs> I ran down 11 flights with a pen in my hand today. Suddenly I stopped, you hear me? And in the middle of that office building, do you hear this? I stopped in the middle of the building and I saw the sky. You know, I saw all the things that I love in this world, just the work and the food, time to just sit and smoke. <laughs> I looked at the pen and I thought to myself, what the hell am I grabbing this for, huh? Why am I trying to become what I don't want to be? What am I doing in an office making a contemptuous, begging fool of myself when all that I want is out there waiting for me the second I say I know who I am? Why can't I say that, Willie? Pop, look at me. I'm a dime a dozen. And so are you. I'm not a leader of men, Willie. And neither are you. You were never anything but a hard-working drummer who landed in the ash can like all the rest of them. And me, I'm a dollar an hour, Willie. I tried seven states. I couldn't raise it. One buck an hour. Do, do you gather my meaning, huh? I'm not bringing home prizes. anymore. And you gotta stop waiting for me to bring them home, Pop. I'm nothing. I'm just what I am. That's all. Sorry, we're just, um, we'll just... What was that? I'm nervous. What? I told you I would tell you when I was nervous. I'm nervous. Billy. You know what I was thinking up there today? I wasn't thinking about, you know, how well I was doing or, or how much I wanted to win. I was thinking about how even though you were trying to hide it last night, I could see that you were sad. You know, and I knew how to make you happy. And then you asked me to leave. I don't know why you asked me to leave. You were sad again, and I knew how to fix it. No, Billy, you can't yes, fix I can. it. Up until a week ago, I was on some pretty serious medication, right? I'm saying, look, I'm saying I'm sad too, Rachel. But the pills I take to make me not sad, they make me feel nothing. All right, those are my options, sad or numb. So I stopped taking them and I didn't tell anyone and, 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 and I was scared and I thought I was gonna go crazy or something, but I, but I, but I don't, I feel great, right? So I feel like alive, like I could just... Do I need to call someone? 
What? Do I need to call someone? <laughs> That's why you don't want to be with me, isn't it? It's because you, you don't realize you're, you're messed up too, Rachel. Hey. I know you think because you, know, you have a hey. job and an apartment that you're fine, but you're not fine. And I, <laughs> Go ahead, call someone. Go ahead. You know, under normal circumstances, I would walk away right normal now. Normal circumstances? Yes. But I am, I am your teacher, so I have to stay here. I have to call someone, and I have to tell them what is going on. What's going on? All I know is that I, I can't walk away from you right now. Then I will. Albert Alvarez, principal at Franklin High School. Please leave your name and number, and I'll get back to you ASAP. Hi, it's, uh, it's Rachel. It's Miss Stevens. Um, I, 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 uh, the, the thing that you wanted me to call you about with, with, with Billy, with, uh, with William, Mittman, I'm, um... Billy? I'm feeling a little... worried about him. Sam? So I'm calling. Call me back. So call me back, please. Come on. Do you need air? I got air. Hey, Justin. Take over, you know? Yeah, I've been trying to quit my whole life. The kids. I actually find cigarettes to be more difficult. Being a teacher is difficult. Everybody says that. But really, it's not. Excuse me? Why a teacher like me has been around so long? No, Walter, I don't. Well, it's because I don't get involved. Yeah. <laughs> well, that might work at your shitty school. No, let me finish. I care a lot about my job. And I'm pretty good at it. I care that my students succeed. They graduate. The outside. Tell you what I don't care about is the inside. Their silly little lives. And that's the stuff that makes people think that it's hard. Because that stuff is hard. You, know, you gotta stay outside. How do you stay outside when something? When these kids are right there in front of you. I have my own. You have kids? 
Yeah. We should go back inside. They're gonna announce the award soon. You go ahead, I'm gonna finish this. All right. Well, what a weekend. I was a little nervous. <laughs> That's okay. I just wanna thank you for letting us witness all of your talents. Truly, there was such incredible work this weekend, and we just want to encourage all of you to keep striving, keep trying to pursue your dreams. And a big congratulations to the finalists. We had a really tough job, I think, this year, but I, I think we're ready to announce the winners. In third place, Jordan Hargrove from Clarksdale Prep. And in second place, William Mittman from Woo! Franklin High School. And the winner is Arthur Jones from West School High School. Let's give all our winners a big hand. Sorry. No, it's okay. Is everything all right? No. Well, I mean, yes. <laughs> well, um, I've been trying to work up the guts to ask you out, and my friends convinced me that if I didn't, I'd regret it. My last name is Rose. Add me? Sure. Yeah, your monologue was amazing. Thank you. Um...
Don't make me put this out. I had a cigarette this weekend. <sighs> Neither one of us should smoke. I didn't want to come on the trip this weekend. I was fine to come and then on Thursday night, I went to see a play at the theater where my mom used to. This, uh, this old friend of hers called me and I had no idea how hard it would be. It was that thing where people say you lose them again. Because she wasn't there. Here she goes again. I brought the wrong folder. I don't have a test. So I'll just take it back at school. No, I lied. You what? Yeah, what? They weren't going to let you come on the trip if you had incomplete work, and so I lied because I knew that coming on the trip mattered to you, but I, I, I really needed you to take it this weekend, and now... And now you can't. And if when you do take it, you fail, Ms. I'm... Miss Stevens? Margo, I know, I, I know. I actually think sometimes it's okay to lie. What? Sometimes I even think it's the right thing to do. And uh, as it turns out, I actually have a copy of the test in my bag. It has all the correct answers on it, but I, I could read the questions out loud. No, it's a, it's a different test. What? It, it's always new questions on a makeup test. Well, perhaps I'm being optimistic or naive, but I really don't think Billy engineered all this just so we could cheat and ace the test. You know what, Marco? What? You're right. Thank you. Okay, come get it. I didn't bring my laptop. I can use my notebook. Hey. Did you really read the book? In F. Scott Fitzgerald's The Great Gatsby, what does the green light ultimately represent for the characters? Looks like she's writing a lot. Maybe she's just drawing a bunch of smiley faces. I think she's done.
I tried to make it Sunday, but I got so damn depressed that I set my sights on Monday and I got myself undressed. I ain't ready for the altar, but I do agree there's times when a woman sure can be a friend of mine. You should talk to your parents about your medication. And I'm not saying go back on it. I'm, I'm just saying talk to them. Let them take care of you. That's what parents are there for. You should, um... What? Someone should take care of you, too. Thank you.